<laughs> pronto, pronto. Uh, may I start just um, uh, asking you if you can show me the, the Sorby scope? Well, we have to go to the office next door. Let's go. <laughs> off with the, off with the screen. <laughs> But it's like a, yours? Wait. <laughs> this, is, this is an illegal office. This is my Sormi scope. You see? I used it just a couple days ago to look at this sand. Wow. It was made in uh, 1924, which is the same year that I was conceived. Uh huh. So we have a very nice relationship. <laughs> so, what about the stars? Are they because it's an Every American? Because a major discovery, yes, correct, yes. Oh, the stars because American and because discoveries. That's right, they're big discoveries. So, the, the biggest star is the biggest discovery? Oh, I don't remember that. I don't remember which is which. There are too many of them. <laughs> wow, how? Which is the one that you like the most? Oh, the stars, I don't remember which one is the, was the, uh, is the big one there, but a uh, great many of them, really. Huh. So, like, uh, which were a couple of your discoveries with that microscope? Well, with that microscope, from one is, uh, <clears throat> one of the discoveries, the classification of carbonate rocks was largely worked out in that microscope. And uh, another discovery was chalcedony. Calcedony that's length slow is uh, key to identification of ad ancient evaporites. Those are two of the things that have been found in that scope. Oh, wow. <laughs> so uh, uh, about um, classification, why, why is it so important to classify rocks? Well, um, <clears throat> it's a way of understanding partly their depositional environment and uh, how they were formed and before before this classification, there was just sort of a random, uh, random description of limestones. There wasn't any systematic way to tell which are high energy limestones, which are low energy limestones. What are the components that go into them, like uh, shell fragments and interclass oolites and things of that sort. So, it's putting in a regular picture. So if I say biomicrite or something, somebody knows. Okay, this is fossils in a carbonate mud matrix. So that's. It's for communications purposes. Okay, so it's more for communications, more yeah. than for scientific purposes. Oh, well, I mean, if you would map, you know, distribution of different uh, rock types, this tells you something about the depositional environment, like you've got a beach here and, and a shallow lagoon there, this sort of thing, if you put in the names. Well, you know that most of the students of hard science and geology, they know your name because of your classification. How, how do you feel about that? Like, everybody knows your name. I feel horrible, <laughs> because that's an Italian word. It means horrible, because I think I've made many more important discoveries than that, yet that's the only one that a lot of people know about. 